Good morning and welcome back to another hike. Right here at Snoqualmie Pass, uh, just about to enter the Pacific Crest Trail. Just gonna go out exploring today. So I plan to follow the old Commonwealth Basin Trail up through the valley uh, along the river on my way to Red Mountain. Uh, super curious about summiting Red Mountain. Not sure what conditions will be like up there, but been tracking the avalanche conditions and snowpack and it seems to be uh, pretty solid. So we're gonna assess once we get up there, but I'm really curious and I want to try winter scrambling. Uh, the face, the Southwest face there I'm gonna be climbing is about 45 degrees. So it's gonna be pretty vertical, but yeah, looking forward to a challenge and we'll kind of see what the day brings us. to my first real obstacle i've avoided most of the stream crossings but i gotta go across this little snow bridge so we're gonna take it slow make sure my foot's stable looks wide enough but don't want to fall in the water all right yep it's pretty solid just cross the stream right here and this is what I'm looking at. I think the trail winds up here, but I'm just kind of following the GPS and hoping it leads me the right way. All right, I made it. <laughs> Whew, I'm out of breath. Uh, I made it to the top of this ridge. I had to come up here to get there. So I'm gonna try this way on the way back. Um, if you follow my GPS navigation, you're probably gonna want to take the way I take back. The sun's starting to poke out, coming over that east ridge. Some of the snow's starting to fall. So beautiful. Just break here for a minute, grab some water, and then continue on my way. Just climbing up this ridge and came to this nice little view. Overlooking the valley below. Uh, that's, that's Snoqualmie Mountain up there. And that's Cave Ridge right up there. Looks like some clouds are hovering high. I believe those are supposed to break off in about an hour. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not getting too much sun that we're gonna have some loose snow, but we'll just assess it as we go. So thus begins the steep part. It's about 45 degrees. Summer, this is switched back straight up. Uh, but got my ice axe out because I don't want to be risking anything. So we'll see what happens. All right, <laughs> I'm halfway, halfway up those switchbacks. It is incredibly hard. I mean, uh, I definitely think I need crampons. Um, the micro spikes just aren't enough to really dig into that ice layer, that ice crust layer. So I don't know how much farther I'm gonna go, but We'll do a little bit more and we'll see what happens. Ooh, what a slog it's been. This is <laughs> really hard work. Uh, but look at these views. Oh my goodness. It's kind of crazy because I started way over there at that parking lot. It looks so far from here. But yeah, look how, look how steep this is. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Step by step. I've already gone way further than I thought I would go. But it's still making sense, so we'll just keep going until it doesn't. To travel over this little gully here, 
it's been a lot of just hands and knees just shimming along the side here but i'm just up here to this ridge From here you got a good view of London Peak straight ahead and Snoqualmie Mountain up there. You can either go down here to Red Pond and then go up the other side of that ridge or I can go straight up there. The top is about 800 feet up, uh, just about a mile. But this snow is pretty slippery. I'm gonna try making a few kick steps up there and see, see how solid it is. If not, I'm probably just gonna detour to Red Pond and call it a day. So we're gonna take a break here, have a Snickers, refuel, reassess what I wanna do. We'll see though. I'm not sure how much further I'm gonna go with any. All right, break time's over. I decided I'm not gonna do it. Uh, like I said, just don't have the right traction equipment. Need some crampons and maybe two axes. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe the snow's just not in the right condition. So we are going to slide down the hill safely back to the trail. Well, one minute later, got really far down. Oh, it's way up there. Very nice. Well, getting back down, about a half a mile left to go to the car. Uh, so far, it's taken me about six hours, uh, just under six hours. Um, yeah, let's review the hike. So I had a couple goals today. The first was to go play in the snow, have fun. The second one, is I really wanted to have a, a physical workout, uh, just something that was really physically demanding. I've been doing some training and trying to see what my body is capable of. I ended up loading my backpack up with with everything. Didn't need my snowshoes, but that's fine. Um, I just wanted the extra weight. It's about 21 pounds. And then the third thing, I, I wanted to do some backcountry navigation to a place that not many people go and a place that has a lot of like vertical ascent, some steep slopes so I can use my ice axe to understand what's working, what's not working. So what did I learn? Well, <laughs> I definitely surprised myself. I did not think I was gonna be going nearly as far as I did, especially once I got up to that first switchback. Uh, that was incredibly steep, but I made up that and then crossed over and then made it halfway up uh, the other switchbacks um, just on the southwest face. It was exhausting and I am very tired, but it was absolutely worth it. I'm thinking for next time, if I were to do something similar, I definitely want crampons. Uh, also, I think the two small ice axes would be really nice. It was great to have one ice axe to kind of use my arm strength to pull me up, but uh, the one ice axe and my pole was just not really doing it. But other than that, things went, things went really good. Uh, still happy I got out here. Happy I turned around when I did. So I'd say mission accomplished. Very happy with the day. Now, what is next? What is next? I'm gonna have to probably spend the next few weeks, maybe a month, thinking about what I want to do, where I want to go, what I want to learn. Uh, but yeah, as always, please let me know in the comments if you got any suggestions of places I should explore. Um, I'm thinking Tenerife Falls, doing the tour up there the Kamikaze Ridge, uh, and then heading over to Mount Sai. Um, I don't know what I'm really getting into with that, but I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna check it out, see if it's gonna be a good idea or not. All right, well, I'm gonna finish out this walk, get back to the car, 
rest my feet and drive home. But thanks for joining me on this tour. It was, uh, it was a good day and I'm glad to have you along. All right, talk to you later, everyone.